Hey guys, my name is Kate and today I'm going to show you how to make Kiva birds. So these are three examples and um, I'll start with this one. So all you need is an open space and some Kiva planks. So go and grab those and let's get started. All right, to make this bird, you're gonna need 20 planks to get started. So we're gonna begin with having three planks laying side by side like this. Then to create that more rounded look of the bird's body, we're going to take the planks and start to set them on the outside flat planks and start to kind of curve them towards each other, pointing the back ones to make a V. So we're gonna just stack them and as you go you can always move them as you think the um, would look great and and you know if one goes too far over and falls you can always just set that back so we're gonna go up five planks on each one so one two three four five and I'm gonna just move those setting them a little further back each time. And then I'm gonna put them so they come to a point at the back. And now we're gonna make the neck. So to make the neck look thicker and everything, we're going to start with three planks flat like this. And then you see where the seams are, we're just gonna take another plank here and another plank on the other side and what's cool about Kiva planks are the ratios are three this way equals one width that way. So it makes a perfect connection. And I'm just gonna squeeze, or you can hold the planks like this and just set that carefully in the middle. And now we're just gonna make the head. So you'll take two planks and this plank is gonna come not right in the middle, but a little bit further, so it looks like the head is poking out more. And then we're just gonna finish with a plank on the top. And that's our first bird. For your second bird, you're gonna need 25 planks. And this one is about the same layout, except we're gonna make these planks fan out more so it looks like the bird is flying. So um, we're gonna start with three planks in the middle. But this time we're gonna pull that middle plank up just a bit. And then um, with our second layer, we're gonna make a V shape up at the top. So taking those planks, they don't have to quite touch yet, but we're just gonna place them further up towards the middle of the plank. The second layer, we're gonna go a little bit further. And now they'll probably touch. Our second layer after that, we're gonna just set the planks right on top of that other one. Just like that. Okay. The next layer, we're gonna pull the planks back a little bit. So I'm gonna take these two planks and right on top of the other ones, I'm just gonna pull it back probably to right about there. Let's say a quarter of the way back. And now we're gonna start making our planks fan out a little bit. So taking that layer, and like I said before, um, you can always move them, adjust them a little bit at a time to make sure they don't fall off, but they are fanning out. So we're gonna go a couple more, let's say one, two, three, four layers. So one, two, three, one more, see if we can get it to fan like that and like that and if they fall that's okay you can always just pick it back up and try again all right now to make the bird look a little more animated we're going to take our planks and we're going to turn the neck so um, with this one we're going to take three planks again and then one plank in front of it like this and just squeezing those, I'm going to carefully place them onto this open space of the bird and turn it so it sets on both sets of planks. And then for the head, I'm just gonna set that. It could go in the middle, it could go a little bit further if you if you want, you can you can even see how far you can put it without it falling. So I'm gonna put mine right there. 
And then just to finish that, we're gonna put the, finish the head with a plank like that. There's our second bird. All right, we're gonna start our third and final bird. This one is the most complicated out of the three, but you should be able to do it if you follow these steps. So we're gonna start with two planks together like this. And then we're gonna make a V shape with this, with these two planks um, towards the back of the, those two planks there, about um, maybe two thirds of the way down. Then I don't know if you can see in the camera, but we're gonna create the tail of the bird. So taking two planks, we're gonna create our first layer and those are gonna be touching these two planks and these, but they'll, um, they don't need to be touching at the end. They're just gonna come offset like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna add two more planks a little closer together. These could be touching if, if you want. And then just to finish off that, we're gonna put one on top, a little further back. So it makes it look like the tail's coming out. The next thing we're gonna do is create the inside body of the bird. So you're just gonna be taking planks and setting them on top of each other. So we're gonna take the first one and point it a little bit off of the two planks that we've already put. Then this one's gonna go out even a little bit more. And then this one's gonna go out a little bit more so we can create that curve of a body. And then this one we're gonna set just right on top so we can add some height to the bird. And then after that, we're just gonna start coming in. So a little bit, one and two, and then we'll stop there and go ahead and start making the wings. So with the wings, you're gonna take four and you're creating almost a step. So I'm gonna take my first two and it's gonna to be touching the edge of the tail here and then the front of the bird here, like that. And then as we go, we're just gonna carefully set those on top of each other, up four. And if they fall, that's okay. Don't worry about it. You can um, always put it back. You can always shift them a little bit if they are looking wobbly. Steady hand. And then, yeah, it's really a matter of balance. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're gonna carefully add the neck of the bird. So just like the ones before, we're gonna take three planks like this. And then one plank in front or behind, it doesn't matter. And then just squeezing those, you're gonna carefully set it on top of the body. Oh, nice. And if you can't see, we're gonna go ahead and take two more planks and lay them on the body just to add some counterbalance. So I'm gonna put that right behind the neck and one more after that, a little bit further back. The last thing we need to do to make this bird look complete is a head. So I'm even gonna turn my head a little bit like that so it looks like it's looking off into the distance. And then we're gonna place that plank on top. And that's our final bird. Well, that's it for our tutorial. I'm so glad you guys could join me. Um, if you need more time and figuring out how to build them, just feel free to pause the video. And um, we'd love to see what you make. If you make a huge flock of birds, um, we'd love to see it. So you can post those on um, our social media. We have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and you can use the hashtag Keepaplanks. Until next time.